How do you do? I'm John Rojas, and it is a joy and privilege to be invited to adjudicate these fine young men and women. Isaac, in your lead, you achieved a beautiful, warm, rich tone in the lower strings, and you communicated the song-like character well. And there was good bow control in the romance, and you played it with the requisite emotion. And for the most part, you let the phrases end naturally. And there are a few occasions uh, there is a bulge. So try and resist that temptation to go, dee -dee -dee -dee. Uh, although I really enjoyed your play. Tom, in Sucker Punch, you showed your technical prowess to good effect. And the drumming was tight, and you made it look so easy. In the schism, the next piece that he played, the multimeters, 5 8, 7 8, 6 8, back to 3 8, 5 8, they were all handled well. And I thought you could have worked harder to achieve and play a true mezzo piano, which a mezzo forte followed. What is a mezzo piano, and how does that contrast to mezzo forte in the psychological sense? Well, mezzo piano is when you're looking inward. You've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Mezzo forte is when you're looking up for inspiration. And that's the difference you need to show in your dynamic shadings there. Abby, thank you for including the romantic Russian composer Samuel Mikropar in your program. Played it beautifully and with the uh, control of your soft sustaining pedal. And I particularly liked the beginnings and the ends of the phrases because it captivated me, wondering what she was going to do next. And this is what we do as performers, to keep the interest and communicate music to the audience. In the presto, I missed the sort song goes. And in the Sempre Forte bars that follow, I thought you could really show me more of the emotional intent of the music. So when you revisit this music, I'd like you to go and hoy, go for those bars. I liked your opening of the Bach prelude. As I closed my eyes, I thought I heard Glenn Gould play it. But they didn't stay close for long, because then I started to hear down inflections in the playing. And as you know, on the playing the piano, when you depress a key, the tone decays straight away. So there are pianistic techniques that you can use to connect one finger into the next so that you achieve a nice line, or at least to give the illusion of one. And Jessica, in Gnosis, your playing showed off the delicate pastel colors of the flute, combined with your very vibrato to good effect. The wind control was impressive, and your technique was effortless. And I thought with this playing, you sportive terms, you hit this one out of the park. In the concerto, the playing was neat as a pin, and I loved your warm, low register. In the beginning, Mozart writes in common time, allegro maestoso, allegro lively, reasonably fast, uh, maestoso, majestically. So how do we find a tempo that accommodates these two terms? Well, Mozart gives us a clue. In the opening rhythm, he has bum, 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 bum. That's majestic. So then, how fast do we take the allegro? Well, the answer is, you take this in a sweep of two. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Why? Because Mozart wants the gifted performer to play with flashes of technical heat. Josh, there is a certain charisma in your drumming that I like. And the accompaniment in the silly putty was alert and steady. And I thought you could do even more with the fills at the end. If you've got it, flaunt it. And the Greg would sizzle with excitement and your solo impressed at the end. And I thought during the guitar solo that you could be more sensitive and accommodating for the solo because I had difficulty hearing him and I wanted the, the solo to come out 
and to have you come down a little bit more. Well, I'm not surprised that all of the performers came within a point of each other. And that tells me that they are all winners. So let's give them a big hand. And you have all been bestowed with heavenly gifts. And it pleased me so much that you could continue on with your play after you leave Beausoleil. And also, it was not easy for me as an adjudicator because I'm asked to evaluate different families of instruments, all that have their strengths and debits. But this evening, I have been uh, looking for someone that shows something special in their play, something that touched my heart, to convince us, to assure us that despite all the troubles out there, that there is still a good world that's possible. And I would like to have the privilege of awarding this honor to Isaac van der Merva. And other various Tom Foster, thank you. Jessica. They are all the winners. And I'd like to give you now a prize as the winner of Beausoleil's The Trick Senior Evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.